Welcome back, tyrants and newcomers alike to Pokemon Blaze Black. Today, we're gonna finish the Ice Gym, which I'm not really scared about because I have Hothead, and Hothead is awesome. Yes. So, next victim for Hothead, please. Oh, I'm the King of Karate. I taught my Pokemon moves, and I'll use the battle with you. The King of Karate, huh? Somebody hasn't heard of Marshall before. Or Bruno, for that matter. This guy ain't crap compared to them, I'm sure. Okay, you're the King of Karate, and you have a Deli Bird. Something there just doesn't really fit. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, Heat Wave, I guess. Just die, Deli Bird. Think that Blizzard's gonna do anything to me? Who cares if you're faster? That Blizzard still don't do crap. Well, it did more than I expected, so that might mean I might be in kind of a trouble, but I hope not. There we go. Dead Deli Bird is dead. Deady Bird. Haha. <laughs> God dang! Lots of XP. Oh, hi, Glacion. Hopefully you don't have any water moves, I'll be kind of pissed. Heat wave! Da 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 da! Die Glacion. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Give me level 60. Sweet! Level 60. Derp da derp. I love lucky eggs. Glolly! Glolly should be quite simple to beat. Have another heat wave, Mr. Garley. What do you mean it avoided the attack? Give me a break. And now it's hail. Oh, hail no. Dang, I use that joke too much. Every time there's a hailstorm, I swear. Oh, hail no. Come on, hit him with heat wave. Thank you. Good grief. Die, Glolly. How come you're not dead yet? Good grief. Ow, roll out. It burns. Dang, if Glolly ends up beating Hothead, I'm not going to be too happy. Have a Shadow Ball and die, you stupid Glolly. In the freaking mouth. Face thing. Die. Yes. But you lose quite often, which means you're not the king of anything. Fail. Right, Hyper Potion. If all those fails, I suppose uh, Coldilox has Wake Up Slap. Crap, I'm probably gonna black out here because I'm too confident, right? I could see it happening. Crap. Wait, where do I go in this case if I'm doing it this way? Oh, god dang it. Oh, I, I kind of remember what to do now, actually. Kind of. Just a little tad bit. Kind of remembering. Alright. Alright, you go this way. That didn't help me at all. Don't tell me I need to go back to the beginning because I won't be happy. Let's see here. All right, there we go, okay. So, we go back over here, and then we go back down here, and we go this way. And that's how we get to Bryson. Ugh, crap. Should I be bold and not scout ahead? Shoot, I know he probably has a dugong in there somewhere, right? Just to be safe, maybe I should send Motorhead out first. Cause I'm sure he must have something that can counter Hothead. Ugh, fine. Let's just do it. I'm confident I'm bold. Let's go beat Bryson. You appear ready to face a gym leader then. Bring it! That was short and to the point. Hi Bryson, you become a movie star in black and white too. Yeah, imagine that. Alright, God forbid, I better not black out here. I really don't. Oh god, it's another freaking double battle. And luckily both these things are super weak to heat waves, so... Hardhead, probably not gonna do too much damage here. Of course there's a snow warning. Forget you with that crap. Hardhead, use heat wave on all of them. And completely own them, thank you. Hopefully, I don't think Hardhead's affected by, or Hothead's affected by, uh... Crap, who's using Shadow Ball? Oh my god, don't die! God dang, who the freak used Shadow Ball? Okay, and I hope Earthquake doesn't affect Hothead, or we might be in some dire straits here. I believe it has Levitate, so I don't think it should. At least Obama Snow is dead, that's nice. Ownage! Aha! He does have Levitate. Awesome, so this isn't too bad of a thing after all. Die, Glaceon. Yay! Give me a level 57 and 61, baby! Alright! 
Woot 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 woot! Level 57! Yay! Next! Definitely gonna want to use a turn for Hyper Potioning. Frostlass! And Bear Kick. Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, Hothead, you're gonna go ahead and use Heat Wave again. Hopefully you don't die this turn. Uh, you, you your turn to Hyper Potion Hothead, please. I want to keep Hothead alive as long as possible because I believe he is one of the keys to winning this battle. Obviously. Anyways. Blizzard. Well, Hothead isn't gonna die from that, but I can't say the same for Golurk. Survive, Hardhead. Ah, dang it. That sucks. At least for us, last lost some of What does it have? Like a life orb or something? I don't think it should survive a heat wave either way. Or hopefully not. Die Frost Lass? Okay, Frost Lass is dead. Good. And I believe Bear Kick is a frequent user of close combat, which means I don't have anything that's affected by close combat, so that's great for me. Ow! Good lord, that hurt. Probably half because of the hail. Um. Who to send out? Who to send out? Shadow Hand, you're quick. We might as well send you out. Vanillux? Alright then. Of course, I'm once again going to Heat Wave and Hyper Potion. I don't know if Shadow Hand can survive a turn, but it's worth a shot. Hothead, have a Hyper Potion! Dang it, my epic chandelier should be owning Bryson's entire team, I believe. Freaking blizzard. Don't die, hothead! Ow, good lord! That blizzard is amazingly strong. Well, at least Vanilla shouldn't last long in this heat wave. Die, both of you. Bear Tick's dead, at least. Vanilla is not dead, but at least Bear Tick's dead. Which means we don't have that much to go on Bryson's team, which is great. Level 62. Man, Hothead is going up levels like nothing this battle. Yeah. Who to send out next? Let's see. Coldilocks, why not? At least we can use Wake Up Slap or something on him, right? Cryogonal. Alrighty then. Of course, Heat Wave again. Coldilocks, use Wake Up Slap on that Vanillox. Of course he's gonna use Protect. Like a Bouse, I suppose. Die, 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 die. Come on, there we go. Okay, dead vanilla. Sweet. Yay! Level 57 for Coldilocks. Wow, this was quite a successful battle if I do say so myself. Alright, so let's see if we can own this Cryogonal here. Providing it doesn't keep using freaking Protect, which is annoying as crap. Alright, get him! Wake up, slap! Wow, when the snowflake balls, apparently. If it even has any. Reflect? Come on, I'm using a special attack on you, you idiot. Die. Cryogonal is one of those really mad ice types, as far as I see. I've never really had the desire to use one. And that was Bryson. Very simple, as I kind of hoped it would be. And I thought it would be a lot harder than that, to be honest. But hey, uh, hot that is awesome. What can you say? In honor of your stout heart, I will give you this. Hey, Ice Badge! That's our second to last badge, guys! Oh yeah, we just freaking own Bryson. Woot! Cakes! Oh yeah, mother freaker. Freeze Badge! You have seven of the badges, that means Pokemon to level 80 will obey you. TM will convey my guards for your accomplishments. I already have Ice Beam on freaking Frost Last, though, so that doesn't really help me out that much. Well known and powerful move that many Pokemon can learn Ice Beam. Alright. What if anybody else can learn it besides Frostlass? That would be nice to know. Let's see here. Hi, Steam. Where are you? There you are. Yes. Because that's a strong freaking move. Jelly Belly can learn it. Dang, Hardhead can even learn it. That's kind of weird. Alright. Um, would it be worth it to delete anything, though? I mean, it technically is my water killer, so... And that would give some type coverage if I did have Ice Beam on him. I just don't know, to be honest. I think I should keep Energy Ball. Yeah, um, Hardhead can learn it though, which is just really freaking weird. 
if you ask me. But is there anything that's worth deleting on Hardhead for it? Possibly? Hardhead can learn like everything, it seems like. It's kind of insane. Nope, nothing worth deleting. So forget it then. We got our badge, and now let's head back. Oh yeah. Here comes another cutscene, god forbid. Yes. Oh, hush, Sharon. Blog, I've been talking with Bianca, and I'm wondering, since we left Nuvema, has something about me changed? No matter what I want to do, think about what I should do. I felt like there was nothing. We really just become stronger as you did my Pokemon. I don't know anymore. Hey, cheer up, Sharon. Isn't it nice to see everyone? Blah, you know what? This time I'll go to the Pokemon fan club. I'm really searching for what I want and what I can do. Who are you? Who? Who? Us? I'm Batman. And this is Sharon. I knew you were there. Why don't you show yourselves? Snap. Impressive, gym leader of Acerus City. We, the Shadow Triad, are beings of shadows and are not easily noticed. Our mission was to speak only with Blog, but so be it. Gets us as a message for you. Come to Dragon Spiral Tower. Is that our is it, it is there that our Lord and awaits for you when our mission is complete. Dragon Spiral Tower? What's going on? Hey, tell me! Now hang on! Young man, if you're here for a gym challenge, hang on a bit. I've got to head to Dragon Spiral Tower. I'm going too. The Dragon Spiral Tower is in the north of here, right? Whoa, whoa, what should I do? For now, I have to go to Dragon Spiral Tower. Carry on heading north to the Bat Cave. Hmm. Let's heal my mother freaking crap first. I did not even have to use a revive in that battle. That's how onagenous that was, pretty much. I had to use a couple hyper potions, but hey, that's kind of a given, I suppose. Yes, heal my crap, lady. Thank you. Heal my crap, stupid nurse joy. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> my crap, stupid nurse joy. Derp. All right. To the Dragon Spiral Tower, away! Yes, of course, um, I'm assuming Hothead is now sort of over leveled by now, so I'm gonna have to switch him with somebody. Who is in the most dire need of XP? Let's bring Shadow Hand out front. Him and Jelly Belly need some XP to catch up with everybody. We're gonna try and get everybody to level 60, obviously. Hey, Blark! Oh, Blark, and you must be the uncle. You can go to the crime, the other Professor Juniper. The person for Juniper who gave you a Pokedex is my daughter. Nice to meet you, Professor. Thanks to Professor Juniper, I got to go on a good story and start figuring out possibilities for my life, because I'm Batman. I'm very, very grateful to her. You did right. Grand, grand. Actually, we can chat later. Black Bianca, here's the situation. Some members of Team Plaza, not quite a large group, broke through the tower wall and went inside. I believe his name is Sharon. The two of them went after Clean Plasma, but... Professor wants the Dragon Spiral Tower. Ha, I guess you would be curious. Well, I'll explain briefly. Dragon Spiral Tower... <laughs> ...has stood tall since long before you know what was found. On the top floor, the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon went for a Pokemon for doing our deals to appear. That's what it's at. Are you gonna go after Team Plasma? It's admirable that you join the fight, but it's risky. Don't worry, I'm Batman. Lorik and Sharon are both really, really strong, and they've beaten Team Plasma before. Blah, 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 blah. Can we just... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyways, let's freaking go in there. Good lord. I don't need no stinking old Gatto. Blah, 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 Shut up, you're super bad budge. Uh, let's go into Dragon Twilight Tower. Aw, yeah. This is where I got Dialga in the old version of Old White. Whoops, holy crap. But not in this version, of course, because this version is not packed with legendaries. There are Pokemon that actually make sense here in this version, even though that ball toy should have evolved ages ago, granted, but who cares? I need to put on some repels anyway. Repels, where art thou? Wherefore art thou, repels? There we go. Sweet. Max repel this. Shut up, Juniper. Alright, anyways. Good lord! The tower seems to be shaking. 
Something going wild? Yes, there's a Playboy party on top of the tower. It's going wild. Blar! You can walk in Bali Collins, too. I'm going after Team Plasma. If you say so, Sharon. If you say so. Sharon! Here it is. Hyper potion this. Okay, cool. Guess we gotta move this. Wait, nobody has strength, really? God forbid, I don't want to teach anybody strength. Should just get an HM slave along here. Freak. Wait, I don't even have strength. Where the freak do I get strength at? God dang it, I gotta go find out how to get strength now. Great. Really didn't want to do that before. Freaking crap. Alright. Where do I get strength? Good dang it. Do I get it from talking to this guy, maybe? Blah, blah, blah. If you like, you might have blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Where the freak do I get strength? Herberb, da der, pearls, files, effect, war off. God dang it. Is it somewhere over here, maybe? Good lord, it's a crow gunk. Oh my chunk, 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 go away, crow gunk. Just get the feeling you get some kind of freaking strength or something somewhere around this area, since I haven't really wandered over here that much. It's got to be something, I swear. Gulpin! Oh, hi, Gulpin. You were so gulpy today. I should just be killing everything here with my Gengar. I don't give a freak. God dang. Alright. God dang it, I took one step, and I'm already in a freaking... I ran over a stun fisk. Good lord. How annoying is that? But I still don't know where to get strength. I don't remember. Run! Must have missed it somewhere. Oh, God dang it! How many of these freaking things am I gonna trip over with my bike? Coughing! So you can eat coughing around here too. I guess that makes sense. Go away, coughing. Nobody cares about you. You're not even that great of a poke. Guess we might as well fight some of these trainers in the meantime and see if we can find strength over here. We'll see. I bet I don't even find strength over here. It's probably in another town. But, whatever. More XP for us, I suppose. Oh, hi, Maractus, you pointless grass type. Maractus Clinic. Um, Shadow Ball for the win. This Pokemon are higher level than I expected. I'll give them that. Die, Maractus Clinic. Cotton Guard, like that would really help you. Defense. Psh, I'm gonna go special attack, you idiot. Good lord. Just die. Thank you. I do like his cry, though. It's kind of funny to imitate, even though I suck at imitating it. I'm gonna go for a risk here and use Dream Eater, actually, because I don't know what this Polytoad has in store for me. Actually, no, you know what? I can kill it in two hits. Why even bother with Dream Eater? I don't have any health to recover. Why would I need it? Die, Politoed. Post Politoed spring up. Oh, good lord. Alright. Um. Of course, he avoided the attack. Bounce. Bounce. Let it all out. God, I'm paralyzed. What I do without. God, really? Come on. Definitely gonna need to use Dream Eater next turn. God dang it. Thank you for actually hitting with Hypnosis, Gengar. I highly appreciate it. Oh, it looks so cute when it's freaking asleep, ready for me to eat its dreams. Alright, stay asleep and use Dream Eater. Thank you! Om nom 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 nom. Aww, yeah! Give me that health. Woot. And I'll finish off you off by eating the rest of your health. Thank you very much, sir. For your health. Yeah. Oh, nom nom, your, your dreams are tasty, sir. Very tasty indeed. Whoa, lots of XP. Level 57. Sweet. 
Escavalier. I think that's how you say it. Escavalier. Um, hypnosis. Yes, go to sleep, Escavalier. Thank you for Escavalier. Actually, if it's a mix of Escargot and Cavalier, it's probably Escavalier. Eh, who cares? Shadow Ball. Well, no, it's probably not even going to be affected by Shadow Ball. Just eat its dreams. Who gives a crap? Don't be paralyzed. Back. It's seeing out its beard thing. All right. Om nom 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 nom. I didn't think it would do that much. Dang it. I'm at kind of a loss here, aren't I? No, it has that scissor. Oh, they didn't do anything. Who am I kidding? Shadow Ball! God, I'm still faster than this thing, even paralyzed. That thing must be really slow. God, I can't do anything to this thing. That will hurt later. I can already see it. Hypnosis! Hit it, please. Dang it, don't be paralyzed. He's gonna kill you. Good lord. Ow. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Shadow Hand, you can't really do anything to this thing, so let's switch to, uh... Hardhead, because at least he has a fighting attack that can use the crap out of it. I don't think this thing has levitate, but it's worth an earthquake. It's worth a quake. Don't kill me! Good, okay. This thing is one of the more offensive, one of the best bug types, I think, in my opinion. Very freaking offensive. Ah, more X scissor, it burns. This thing's like raping my team, good lord. Die from Dynamic Punch, in the face. Yay! Woot. Alright. Pokemon Ranger Loeth. I defeated you, Mithra Loeth. <laughs> Alright. Nature changes, blah blah blah, nobody cares, what is this? Poison Barb, oh boy, something I will not need, ever. Alright, let's see here. Do I have Paralyzed Heal? I should have something that heals Paralysis, right? Yay, I have a Cherry Berry, alright. Cool Ossity, bro. Alright, now where's my Hyper Potions? Yay! That is what I am talking about. Oh, yes. Now Jelly Belly's falling behind, but I'm gonna get to him to 60 eventually. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm-hmm. I'm gonna put another pal because I don't want to deal with all the crap in this water. Doo -doo, stupid crap in this water. What are you? Sludge Bomb. Actually, that would be very good for Gengar, I think. Gengar, can you learn Sludge Bomb? It would be nice if you could. Let's see, Sludge Bomb, 90. May also poison. Yes, of course Gengar is able to learn it. I really wanted to learn it, actually. Let's delete Dark Pulse. That doesn't get stabbed, anyway. Yay, Sludge Bomb! Awesome. That means Shadow Hand is even more lethal. Sweet sauce. Right, so, let's go this way. You, fight me! Alright! Now, I wonder, if I don't get strength this episode, I'll have to look it up online where to get it, because I honestly cannot remember it all. Hey look, a female Jellicent! Well, I have a male Jellicent! Ha ha! Take that. Alright, Shadowbog, motherfreaker! In the face. Die, female ripoff Jellicent! Dang, it isn't dead. And it's gonna use Rain Dance for some very odd reason. But who cares? All right, uh, Sledge Bomb, pour the victory in the wind. Bam! Die. Thank you very much. Yeah, good thing Sledge Bomb was disabled. I wasn't going to use it again in this battle anyways, probably. Next, Kingler. Yeah, keep battling. Kingler, huh? That's a pretty decent Pokemon. Never really had a desire to use one, but I know they're pretty decent. At least as far as I know there are. And that was easy. Yay, critical hits. Yay, Pepto Bismol. Just kidding. Level 58. Oh, Shadow Hand Go. Uh, you're so strong. Too strong to be cute. I sure am, lady. I sure am. All right. Give me this. Full heal. Ah, oh, yeah. Rise above hat. Just kidding. Um. 
You, you're next. Fight me, you stupid safari lady. Turns on among the reason that I got blah 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 Shut up! We have five minutes left to find strength, and I probably won't find it this episode. I bet I just passed it somewhere, honestly. I bet I did. Hey look, something to kill with Sludge Bomb! Oh boy! This ought to be fun! Sludge Bomb for the win! Die, you! Yay! Oh dang, it isn't dead. Curses! That should have killed him. Ow, Air Slash, it burns! One more Sludge Bomb for the win! Bam! Yay! Own! Stupid, whoa! Lots of XP from Tropius. Hi, Archaeops, how are you? Looking very Archaeopsy today. Archaeopsy sounds like some kind of surgical procedure. I just went to the hospital today to get an Archaeopsy. It was very painful. Oh my god, Rock Slide, don't kill me. Ow! Okay. One Shadow Ball for the win. One more Shadow Ball for the freaking win. There we go. Cause Shadow Hand is beast. Hooray! Level 59. Da 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 da. Once it hits 60, I can start using other things. Chinchino. This might be annoying. Alright. I'm gonna risk a hypnosis. Dang it. Aw, oh, really? Come on. You're gonna sing? Are you serious, Chinchino? You are a butt munch. Just saying. That means I have to use one of my two remaining Hyper Potions just to survive. Fan freaking tastic. Magic coat, huh? Wake up and use Hypnosis, Shadow Hand. Uh, shrouded itself with Magic Coat. What does that even do? I don't remember what Magic Coat does, to be honest. Isn't that like counter except for special attacks or something? I'm just kind of confused about that. Wake up, Shadow Hand. Good lord. All it's doing is spamming magic code for some strange reason. Oh, crap. That's what that does. God dang it. You gotta be kidding me, right? Now we're asleep again. Fantastic. I guess the annoying Chinchino just wants to be annoying. Hooray. Wake up, Shadow Hand. We have sludge bombs to do here. We have sludge to throw all over this stupid chinchilla thing. Dang it. Wake up, Shadow Hand. You're just wasting time now. Seriously, does all this thing have is magic code? I would not be surprised at all. Sludge, freaking bomb. Die, or at least get poisoned. Either works. It did do quite a bit of damage. Now die from another sludge bomb. Oh, that likes slamming sludge bomb on Shadow Hand, actually. Pretty cool. Yay! Yeah, okay, so let's see. We're not gonna find strength this episode, it looks like. Shut up! Give me my berry and go away. Thank you. Nobody cares about nature. That's why I play video games. Ultra Ball, how useless. Alright, what's over this way? You, you're next. Alright, last battle of the episode. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, man. Your parasol's full of TMs. Okay, give me facade. Thank you. That's nice. Alright. Imagine that. Alright, fisherman time. We're definitely getting Shadow Hand to level 60 this episode if he can survive this masculine attack. That would be nice. Alright, Shadow Ball. You know, technically Sludge Bomb, because of the fact that it uh, poisons, is technically better than uh, Shadow Ball. Technically, although Shadow Ball does more damage initially, if Sludge Bomb's poisons, then that means it's better. Alright, speaking of which, Sludge Bomb for the win. Owned. Oh crap, they didn't do anything. Oh well, Stead Wish Cash is dead anyway. Yay! Next. Another Kingler. Good lord, what is it with these people and their Kinglers? Keep your Kingler to yourself. Good lord. Have a Shadow Ball and die, stupid Kingler. And no, no, dang, it can't even survive a normal Shadow Ball. Maybe it's the defense, special defense must be really frail. Hey, yay, level 60. Sweet. Basculin. 
I guess we're gonna get Jelly Belly to level 60 next. And what better way to train him than on a retarded fisherman like this one? Yeah. All righty then, energy ball. Scary face, oh come on, like I wasn't already slower than you. I'm a giant jellyfish for freak's sake. Die, die from energy ball. Blood munch. Oh yes, almost the one hit pain. Oh darn it. One more for the win. And it's just gonna waste its final turn with scary face. Good for you, Vasculin. Time for energy ball, thank you. Anyways, next, another Basculin. What is it, like the female version? I figured it would be the red one. No, it's the male version, whatever, who cares? All they're gonna do is keep using scary face like idiots anyway. Good lord. Energy ball, mother freak, ah. Die. Almost one hit KO, just one more. Jelly Belly's speed won't go any lower. Jelly Belly is basically a rock right now. He just can't move. Because of all the scary faces. Yay, level 57. Yay, my name is Bruce, and I lost. Fish of friends, not food. Anyways, uh, thank you, Tyrants, for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, and see you guys next time.